Welcome to Backyard Forest School. You might have seen a lot of this out at the moment. It's wild onion. Super, super tasty and is great in a wild onion and cheese scone. Shall I show you how to make it? So first of all, when you're using wild plants to cook with, you need to be super careful that you know exactly what you're picking and it's the plant that you want. So ask somebody who knows, who really knows, that's a good idea, or have a look in a plant book, identification book, or perhaps have a little Google, but be super sure before you start picking. Then when you know it's the plant you want, you have to make sure you are actually picking that plant, because in my recipe it says a handful of wild onion. Now if I grabbed a handful here, I'd actually be picking other plants as well. I'd be picking the wild onion, but I'd also be picking the mombrisha, and I've got some daffodils in here as well, so let me show you how to pick it really, really safely. With this wild onion, you can eat the flowers and the stalk as well, so I'm going to pull the flower up like this, and with my other hand, I'm going to take my hand right down the stalk. There we go. And then pinch it together, and there we are. And that's how I know I've got my wild onion, and I haven't got any other plants. Okay. So let me show you how to make wild onion and cheese scones. I've done a bit of preparation so I can show you super quickly. And perhaps if you have a little Google or research on exact quantities, but you're going to need some flour. This is self-raising flour and some butter that you're going to rub together with your fingertips. You're going to add some cheese, grated cheese. I've got mature cheddar cheese here. You can use the cheese that you like. And here is my wild onion, all chopped up with a pair of scissors. You can eat the stalks, look, as well as the flowers. I always keep some flowers for decoration too. And once you put those dry ingredients together, you're going to mix a bit of milk with a broken egg and whisk it up and put those wet ingredients with your dry ingredients and knead it together Here's your scone mixture. You're going to knead it all together like this. You've got your cheese and your onion, a pinch of salt as well, and your egg and your milk. And once that's all nicely kneaded together, pop it in the oven. And you probably want about 200 degrees. And then for about uh, 10 or 15 minutes. And then here's one's scones that came out just now. And don't they look? absolutely delicious and I've put a lovely little sprig of wild onion flowers on top to make it look really super to present it and they really are yummy and there is something super satisfying about cooking with wild plants hope you enjoy having a go have fun bye